volunteering from home to save lives. Since April, more than 180 doctors, engineers, and innovators, many from Oregon, have been working together remotely. Their goal? To design a low-cost ventilator to treat COVID-19 patients around the world. And they did it. It's called the LifeMech Adapted Ventilator System. On Friday, they received emergency use authorization approval from the Food and Drug Administration. So we're super grateful to everyone on the team who worked with the FDA and all the FDA reviewers for allowing us to bring this product to people who need it. Avi Gupta helped design the ventilator's user interface. At 18 years old, the Portland native is the youngest volunteer on the LifeMech team. He's also the reigning Jeopardy teen tournament champion. From the very beginning, the goal of LifeMech was simple. We all just wanted to save lives. And to do so affordably. Hospital-grade ventilators can cost tens of thousands of dollars. The LifeMech AVS costs around $400 to make. And its design plans are all open source, meaning anyone who has the need and ability to make one can. The original prototype, which is fully functional, was made in our garages. So it's truly something that can be deployed worldwide in an effective manner. I wanted something that I would feel comfortable putting in a patient in an emergency. Cardiologist and LifeMech CEO Dr. Sarab Gupta spoke with us in May when the nonprofit was getting off the ground. They raised nearly $25,000 to fund their effort. Now with FDA approval, they'll partner with organizations to get the ventilators into developing countries like Zambia, Nigeria and Bangladesh. And ultimately that's a benefit to patients and it will save lives because we're getting these devices in the hands of doctors who can use them and people who can need them. The LifeMech team is already working on version two of its adapted ventilator system. Their new goal with a little more time is not just to meet standards, but to exceed them. Catherine Cook, KGW News.